let's uh, let's go ahead and get back to our regularly scheduled program. We're going to start with the um, uh, with the swing portfolio. Uh, so this was Alcoa. You will recall that yesterday uh, we had a really strong intraday trade, and it worked so well that we elected to keep 20% as a swing uh, with. Uh, with our entry here and using a standard risk box at the belly of the dragon. Uh, that one, uh, you know, it closed well yesterday and today with the Fed announcement, this thing is deeply in the money. This is about one, two, three. That one's about 5R on two days uh, using that reference as our, as our 1R. So that one paid off really well. This is at a key turning point now. Uh, this was the last place that it failed, but with the Fed announcement, I think there's a good chance to get another leg up, and it wouldn't be surprised to see it get all the way over to the previous support. So 56 is in order, and what I'll be doing is uh, raising my stop from here up into here. Now, during the day when I saw that Fed announcement, I went ahead and locked in that much, but I'll be adjusting that, and then tomorrow I'll try to get that stop higher. I'll be looking to add another position if it keeps going uh, as a turbo. So Alcoa is probably my number one priority for trading tomorrow. So this is the case where this is hybrid trading and essentially what we had uh, was an intraday trade here that went so well that the that the day trade became a swing trade and then that swing trade allowed us to get a turbo it became a, a better day trade and then tomorrow we're looking to get another day trade using the the money that we've made here uh, to fund the intraday move so this is uh, that's a nice example of uh, hybrid trading uh, in cliff uh, we were stocking that one our last trade was this one um, and then today on the breakout of the PSR box and the market really doing well we just went ahead held our nose and started a swing from here. Standard risk box. This thing is about 2R in hand. Uh, and I'm, again, much like Alcoa, I'm looking for all the metals to continue. And it's it's clear at a really important uh, resistance level. And the 30-day high is in, is in play. So I'm liking that possibility there. Uh, Chevron was a Godzilla that we started uh, yesterday. Um, and... Uh, that one monkeyed around a little bit. Today it sold off and then closed fairly well. So we're about back to break even. Uh, it was testing our, our swing low here. The uh, um, We were using the standard risk from the first successful trade. Uh, and so it, it tested it but didn't fail. So we're kind of at break even. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'm just going to keep that stop in place until it... Uh, I'd like to see it break above the 10-day high before... Uh, before I move my stop from here and lock anything in. Okay, so that one's still a work in progress, still cooking. Uh, Devon Energy, uh, we had uh, closed a successful short here, uh, missed the collapsing dragon today, but on the rebound, I elected to uh, initiate the swing at the PSAR flip like an SSC with a standard risk. And it's closed right about here. And it has to get above, say, 63 uh, before I become interested in raising my stop. And I would look maybe to add a second position, M maybe that early. We'll see how it goes. Um, but otherwise, I'll just let that go as a single position until 66. But if, the, if energy really performs well, I could be tempted to add a second position around here. Uh, emerging Markets was a, uh, a 551W. You heard me brief that yesterday. Um, you know, it's Emerging Markets have been great, had a harsh sell-off. Yesterday was a morning hook and closed well, and it was setting up for a 551W swing trade at the close. So I went ahead and bought it uh, on the 30-minute chart uh, and used a tight stop. Uh, this thing... Uh, tested a little bit today, but we're about one, two, three, four, almost five R in hand and closing well. 
and tomorrow I would not be surprised to see it come up and test this next resistance area. So uh, intraday we moved our stop to here, uh, and then tomorrow. So I'm giving it a little bit of wiggle room, and then if it breaks out and keeps going, I'll raise that stop and look to add a second position up here. So I'm really pleased with emerging markets. That looks like a buy on dip opportunity. Uh, Ethereum just stalking had a nice. Uh, last couple hours, but not enough to get me in. Uh, this is uh, Mexico. We had uh, closed a nice win. Then we got short here. Today we closed that for a scratch and then sim then added a stop and reverse. And that thing has got about, uh, about 2R in hand and closing well. Uh, that's one I, I can add right away because it has already cleared that previous resistance level. So at the first sign of continued strength, EWW, I will add to it. I will start it on the three minutes uh, as an intraday turbo trade, and then I'll be looking to uh, keep a piece of that to add to the swing trade, which is already in place. So I'm liking that one. Uh, Brazil, uh, we were short. Uh, yeah, we were short here. That one failed, so we took the 1R loss. That was a stop and reverse. Today we got tricked on that one and took a half an R loss. It then continued to sell off harshly all day. I missed the stop and reverse, uh, but then that really closed well, and I decided because of the strength in Mexico uh, that this still had an opportunity. So I reversed again, and uh, I'm looking for a... Um, a uh, a continuation tomorrow. That's just me being stubborn with a symbol that I like to trade. It's a great intraday trader. I'm trying to make it a swing. Uh, this was international paper. We looked at this uh, yesterday uh, because of this nice move. I almost bought here, didn't, and I'm now regretting that. Uh, or two days ago, I, then it had the nice big move yesterday. Morning hook, and then took off on the. Uh, on the Fed announcement today. So I took that as a speculative one because the industrials all started performing really, really well after the Fed announcement. So we're about flat on that one right now. Um, but I would be looking to add another position as soon as 42 if it can get out above this, above that resistance. So that was a, a trade on a reaction to the Fed. Um, U.S. real estate, uh, two days ago we initiated this one here with a tight stop. It tested closely but didn't kick us out and we're about one, two, three, four R in hand uh, and no resistance in sight. So this one has a chance to really go. Uh, at the first sign of strength tomorrow I'll add a second swing position as the alternative to equities and tech. Uh, McDonald's uh, we initiated today um, no, I'm sorry, we initiated that yesterday. Uh, it tested and is now back to about break even. Uh, so I'm just going to let it grow. It has some work to do to to close this gap. I think there's a good chance that it closes the gap tomorrow. They had a great earnings announcement. And uh, with the favorable reaction of the broad market today, I could see this easily moving up into the previous resistance here. So, So I like that as an opportunity. Second position I wouldn't think about putting on until it breaks above this 10-day uh, and 30-day high. But I'm cautiously optimistic on McDonald's. Uh, marijuana, yesterday you'll recall we had the uh, Z3 breakout and this amazing run-up and then we took the gift. Uh, today it sold off and then started to retrace again. So on, that's almost like an intraday cut of two on the 30. So we re-entered with that as our risk, and it's about one, two, three. It, it, at one point it was up three. It ended up closing back around here. So I'm comfortable with that. I'd like to, as soon as it starts taking off, I'll look to raise the stop. In fact, I'll raise that stop to no lose plus dinner for two. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, next up, clean energy. Uh, we initiated 
a position on the intraday Kata 2 and the Z3 breakout. There's our standard risk. It closed really well. So we're about plus two on that one. Um, and it's going to it's testing this previous resistance. So we'll uh, look to see how that works tomorrow. We won't lose money on that trade. Treasuries finally paid us off. You know, last week we'd initiated a uh, an SSC and then just watched it monkey around. Today it got traction and uh, really closed well. So, you know, here was our risk. So we're about plus 2R on treasuries. Uh, it's got to give get above 108 to be very interesting. I'll look to add a second position above 110. We just bought that as a hedge, but it turned out to be all right. Initiated Tesla today. Uh, that should receive some joy from the tech crowd and the growth that was implied in today's Fed work. So nice entry on the Kata 2 here. Closed well. It's It broke through that resistance, so I have uh, good expectations. That'll be a high payoff or high priority for tomorrow. Finally, U.S. Steel, just like the other metals, all did well. Uh, pushed all the way up above the previous resistance. I'll look to add a second position here, starting with the intraday trade. So I'll be looking at the metals, Tesla, um, real estate, and uh, Mexico tomorrow as highest priorities for the swing portfolio. So uh, pretty good response by the uh, swing portfolio today. All right, let's take a look at the um, sniper trades of the day. So this